Hi everyone, welcome to Coding and Creating. Today we're gonna to start uh, looking at our unit on digital art and we're gonna begin with uh, the Google Drawing app. So let me just start by showing you how to get to uh, this product. If you start off at Google Drive and you click New and then go to More, you might see where it says Google Drawings right there. So I'll click on Google Drawings and it will create a new drawing for you. Now, we're going to create some really fun little cartoon characters with just some basic shapes, and we're going to learn how to group things, we're going to learn how to change the orders, we'll learn how to do lots of little technical things to make your art and your uh, just technical skills a little bit better, and you can use these in lots of different ways. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make some eyeballs. And there's lots of ways to make eyeballs. I'll show you a simple way. So I'm going to click here on shapes and just go to the circular shape right there. And then I'm going to just drag it out. Now notice I'm making it really big. The reason I want to make it really big is it's so much easier to add detail and make it really big. And then when we're finished, we can shrink it down. So I've got a big giant circle. I'm gonna go up here to the paint bucket and I'm gonna choose white. I'm gonna to go to my, my shapes again and I'll choose same circle shape and I'll drag my mouse down. So I'm pressing with one finger um, a lot of times I, you know, you can press with one finger and then the other and drag like that. Or sometimes you can put down your thumb. But uh, now I've, I've got this circle selected and I'm going to go here to the paint bucket. And this time I'm going to fill it with black. And I'm going to go to my shapes. And I want a little highlight in the eye. So I'm going to go here to some of these shapes. There's lots of different types of highlights that you can do. One simple way would be to use one of these, uh, what are called callouts, to use maybe one of these star shapes as a little highlight. Um, you can use almost any of them. Here's like a four point star. See if you like this sort of look. I'll just sort of put that right there on top of the black part of the eye. And then I'll go to the paint bucket and I want the highlight to be white. And you can use your arrow key to sort of move things around the way you want. So does that look like the beginning of a good eyeball? So let's say I love that and it's all great. I'm gonna drag my mouse and, oh, sorry about that. I'm gonna drag my mouse and select all of the shapes, okay? Once all uh, three shapes, this circle, this circle, and this star are selected, then what you can do is you can, if you're using a mouse, you can right click or press with two fingers on your trackpad and say group, okay? So to, if you go like this on your trackpad and you just press the two fingers, just like that, um, that's the same as a right click. So it gives you that. So now that my shapes are all grouped together, notice that I can resize them. And so I can shrink it down a bit more. Um, you know, you can sort of decide if you want your cartoon character to have more oval eyes or more round eyes or you want them to be like that. It might be like a little frog or something but you can sort of make the general shape that you want. Then I'm gonna click with two fingers and I'm gonna say copy. And I'll just tap over here a little bit to the side and say paste. And when I say paste, they're sort of stacked up on top of each other. Um, I kind of like to use my arrow keys so I can sort of tap my arrow keys and move them around. You could also just drag your mouse and move things around. Notice that there are little guides that appear. So you, if you want to perfectly center things and, and align them, that's another way you can do that. So now I've got two eyes. Now to make life easier on yourself so that you can move things around, I would group these shapes. So if you drag across here, you uh, can select both eyeballs and then two finger click and again say group. Now we've got a set of eyeballs here that we can move around. Isn't that cool? We've got our eyeballs. Okay, now we need a little face of some sort of character to put this on and there's lots of ways to draw it. So since we're um, since today we're focused on some of these shapes, we could just use the same shapes. So let's go here. Let's get a, a circle again, and I'll just sort of drag this on over here. And um, notice that my eyeballs are behind this circle. Okay, so to fix that, you're going to have to change the order 
of which shapes are in the front and which shapes are in the back. So I'm going to, again, two finger click. Do you notice a little pattern? Whenever you want to see how to do something, if you click with two fingers or if you have a mouse, a right click, you're going to see this menu of all the different options. So that's a good general strategy for you to keep in mind. Two finger click or right click brings up the menu of all the different options. So I'm on this big circle and I right here it says order and I'm going to send that circle to the back. So I've got my circle in the back and my eyes are in the front and uh, you can make your character whatever skin tone you want. If Should I make mine like a little alien guy or something? I don't know. Does that look good? Maybe I'll, I'll stick with that. Maybe I can change my mind later. Um, so we've got a face and we've got some eyes. Now you need a mouth. So let's keep on with our, our sort of shape uh, ideas here. There's callouts, there's equations, there's lots of different ones. Let's see, how about, what's a good mouth? How about this moon shape right here? I think that would be a really nice mouth. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to drag it on the side here. And go maybe like that. Now my mouth is the wrong direction. So I'm going to grab that little handle on the side and turn my frown, not upside down, but turn it for uh, so that it's right ways. Okay, and sometimes your arrow keys can help you move things around just the way you want. I think I want my teeth to be maybe white. So I should I go like that. And then um, I kind of like him to have a little bit of lips or her have lips. I don't know if I've made this a girl or a boy yet, but um, I can click here and maybe make the lines thicker. So I look better. I, don't, I think maybe some red lips would be good. Oh, no, that's the fill color, isn't it? So to undo, I made a mistake, right? So right over here, there's the undo. And notice how it says Control-Z or Apple-Z if you're on a Mac. I'm on a Mac, but you're on a Chromebook, it's Control-Z. That's undo. Um, the line color is going to be, um, let's see, where is my line color? Here's my border color. That's what I wanted. So if I click on that, Kind of looks kind of crazy there, doesn't it? Maybe I can. Maybe I should fill, change a different color. Maybe I'll pick a skin tone here, sort of like that. Does that look good? All right. So, got this uh, person with the uh, with the with their lips, and then uh, you can start to mess with uh, some hair. Should we try? We can try some shapes for some hair too. Um, some of these can be. Here's some crazy hair. Should I go like this? Oh. Sorry about that. If I'm sort of bringing up my little controls here. There, he's got like a little toupee of hair. I'll make it make it black. How's that? Does that look like a good guy? So there's lots of different techniques that you can do, lots of different options. So here's a little sneak peek at a few different ones that I've drawn different ways. So notice with some of these examples, I made the highlights in the eyes a little different, a little more complex. Um, here's one with uh, some eyes that are even a little bit, have the highlights in different ways. Okay, so uh, what I want to do today is just focus in on making a face of some sort. And then next time I'll show you how to do the bodies and show you how to do different techniques. All right, I will see you next time. Have fun with Google Draw making a cartoon face.